What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to be talking about a caramel shortbread tea. Oh, and the beautiful Aurora 365 Optima. So before we get into this beautiful pen, let's talk about this tea. Uh, so this is David's Tea Caramel Shortbread. It is a um, fruit infusion tea. It says, all oh, the melt-in-your-mouth richness of shortbread baked into a blend of willow bark, caramelized almond, and sour cherry? Resistance is futile. I don't know. Uh, the ingredients are apple, raisins, brown sugar, elderberries, willow bark, almonds, hazelnuts, sour cherries, raspberries, stevia extract, natural and artificial artif uh, almond and hazelnut flavoring. Warning, contains almonds and hazelnuts. So this one actually tastes relatively close to like a caramel shortbread. Still smelling the package. Um, I'm not a huge fan of fruit infusions. They tend to be kind of sour. Um, I like fruit infusions to be like iced teas, um, but this was part of their winter collection. And to me, winter implies hot tea. So I'm not really sure why David's Tea decided to do that. Um, but it is what it is, I suppose. Um, so one packet of this into nearly boiling water, let steep for four to seven minutes and it is caffeine free um, because there's no actual tea in this. Um, it's just a fruit infusion. Um, so made into like an iced tea, maybe this would be good, um, but I didn't really like it. Uh, as a hot tea. It was kind of sour um, and actually got better tasting um, the longer I just let it sit um, and it was just kind of like chilling on the counter. Um, when it wasn't as hot, that bitter uh, sour flavor went away um, and I got to taste more of the um, caramel flavor. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would not recommend this. I won't be buying any. Um, but there you go. You can't win them all. You can't win them all. But something I have won. Mm. Hello, my beautiful. You are so pretty and I love you. Um, <laughs> so this, if you have watched my top five grail pens, I put on there. And the reason why I did was because you cannot buy this in North America. Like I, Chatterley Luxuries had this pen for like 30 seconds. Um, Dan from the Nibsmith had them for about 30 seconds, but they weren't even offered online. It was just uh, in the one of the pen shows. I can't remember which one um, because the vast majority of these never came to North America. Uh, they stayed in uh, like Europe and Italy and whatnot. So uh, that made me very sad. And I thought because of that, I would never buy it, but I did. <laughs> so the Aurora Optima is one of my favorite pens uh, of all time. I love the shape of it. I love the feel of it. Um, I love the nibs. I love the way that it sits in my hand. I basically love everything about it. So when they came out with this 365, I absolutely fell in love with the color of it. The um, Oroloid material is simply stunning. Um, I love the mix of the dark blues, the light turquoise, and depending on the way the light hits it, it shines in a different way. Um, and every time I look at it, I find something different um, and it is beautiful. So this is a limited edition. Uh, there was only 365 made. I have number 312. Um, I bought mine from, and I'm gonna butcher the name, so just go with me on this, um, La Caron de Comp, something like that. Um, you know, but that's where I purchased mine from. It came very quickly, um, considering that it had to uh, come within like the Christmas, super busy, like everyone ordering things online kind of season, so it came pretty dang quick. Um, so I was impressed with that. Um, so this is the typical Aurora Optima shape, uh, you know, where it's kind of like flat tops, obviously. I prefer flat tops rather than traditional cigar. Um, it kind of widens a little bit towards the center, bat, uh, center, center barrel, if I can speak English. 
um, and then tapers down towards the end cap. Um, the tops and the bottoms are both flat. And on this model, everything is chrome finish. Uh, so you have the chrome clip that functions very, very nicely. And actually, I just noticed uh, on the underside of the clip, it says metal. No duh. Um, on this one, because it is limited edition, it does say the number on the cap there. Center barrel just reads Aurora uh, with the Greek lettering. This band is a little bit different than the regular Aurora bands. Um, you will still get it saying Aurora, but it also says made in Italy on the back with the Greek lettering. And it doesn't have these um, additional bands running up top, uh, the Aurora logo here. So the band, center band, does look a little bit different on this than the traditional uh, Optima line. Uh, on the body here, just like any other Aurora pen, you do have Aurora Italia and other words in Italian that I don't know how to speak, um, kind of printed on the uh, Oroloid here that you really can't see um, unless you are looking in a certain light, um, which I think is kind of cool. It gives it like a bit of a vintage flare. Um, so it is a screw cap. Um, you have the awesome ink window here and you have the grip section. This is all the same with any other Aurora um, that you have for the Optima line anyway. Um, and I will throw a, a link in the iCard above um, to the other review that I've done. So just like the other one, um, the threads are here. It's a very long grip section, so you probably won't encounter them. Um, but I, even if you do have like your thumb back there, it's very, very smooth. Um, there is a little bit of a step up just beyond this ink window, but that's almost approaching the halfway point in the pen. So I can't see anyone holding their thumb back there. I just, I, I can't see it. Um, you do have the 18 karat nib. Mine happens to be a stub nib um, that I bought. Um, it is just, oh, a dream. Um, mine, of course, has nice ink all over it. Um, I used to be really picky with that. I used to not like ink on my nib, but then I was like, why? <laughs> so now I'm over it. Um, you can post this pen, it's just push to post, post very securely. Uh, it is relatively balanced for me with the pen posted. Um, I don't really ever post my pens, but you can, and it does feel quite nice, uh, but it is long enough for me to not have it posted. It is a light pen, um, despite the fact that it is a piston fill, which typically piston fillers are a little bit more heavy um, because usually it's made out of metal uh, mechanics. And then of course you have like couple milliliters of ink, um, but it is quite light and I like that because then for really long extended writing sessions, uh, my hand doesn't get tired. Um, so this really is my perfect pen. Um, you can unscrew the nib unit from the grip section um, to make it easier to clean because on the inside, um, you do have a, like that piston mechanism that will actually come with like this little rubber stop gap um, that when you are running out of ink, you can twist the piston so that the piston knob comes up and the piston mechanism goes down. And what it does is it displaces the ink that's at the bottom and forces the rest of it down into the feed so that you can literally use like every drop of ink that you have in this pen, which is really cool. I really like that idea. But if you were to clean it the traditional way, it's gonna make it a pain in the giant you know what um, to clean it out. So I like that you can just unscrew the nib unit, then the clean is easy breezy and no problem. The only downside, the only downside to this pen is that it is extraordinarily hard to find and because of that, it is expensive. So in Canadian dollars, um, after the conversion and all of that, um, this was almost 800 bucks, which is pricey for an Aurora Optima, probably way more than it should be, um, but I absolutely caved and I'm glad that I did because this is now, out of every pen that I own, my favorite pen. Um, and it was on my grail list, I had to, I had to, I had to, I had to. 
I'm telling myself I had to, <laughs> um, but I'm very glad I did. If you can get one, I highly recommend you do it. Um, like I said, you will probably end up paying more than you should, but it's worth it, especially if you view Optima's the way that I do. Uh, this will be with me for the rest of my life. Um, so definitely, definitely worth it. Let's jump into the writing sample though, because that is even better than the way that this pen looks. All right, so we've got the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Uh, again, the pen is a Aurora Optima 365, 18 karat stub nib, and the ink for today is Robert Oster Lake of Fire. So this pen is very smooth. Um, apparently if I hold it a little bit too far, it doesn't quite write towards the very edge of the stub, um, but this pen is so smooth. So, so, so smooth, and it's very wet, which again, if you all know me, I love wet pens. Um, so naturally, because this is a stub, it will have really nice line variation, but it does have a little bit of squeezability if you want it. It doesn't really make a huge difference, but it does put down a little bit more ink um, so that you can get, a, I guess, a little bit more variation, but you really don't need it. It's built in for you. Um, so you really get good line variation. Um, and I like that this pen is super wet um, because it does help it glide. It is so, so smooth. Um, it is a little bit picky with the way that you hold it. Um, if you do rotate your pen, um, it won't quite write on the edges, uh, but it's relatively extreme so I wouldn't really worry about it. Um, I really, really like this nib. Um, with fast writing, again, it, it keeps up no problem. Uh, I can't spell while I'm fast writing, but it does keep up no problem. You just have to be careful, again, not to rotate your pen. Um, when you are fast writing, it is a little bit more noticeable for like tooth, um, but that's just because, again, I tend to rotate my pen. Um, but when I write, you know, like a normal human being, uh, it is beautiful. I 100% love, 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 love this nib, this pen, everything about it. Uh, this is basically just a gushing review. <laughs> um, I didn't even want to like swipe the ink to, uh, to show you how wet it is. This ink is actually a really, really dry ink in the sense of, or it's not a dry ink. It's just, it dries uh, really fast. Um, but just look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to stop myself from going too, too crazy. Um, if you have, haven't seen the unboxing video that I did of this, you just, you know how excited I am about this pen. Um, and it has not let me down at all. Oh boy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you really like the video, but haven't yet done so already do hit that subscribe uh, button. Um, new videos come out every Monday and Friday. Uh, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Drop a comment down below. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.